Do you have a feeling that no matter how much clothes you have and how hard you tried, your outfits still don't look that stylish, interesting, bold, don't really give you that confidence to go and conquer the world? If the answer is yes, then you should definitely watch this video till the end because I will guide you step by step through the magic of turning the most basic staples out of your wardrobe into stylish outfits. But before I jump into all the secrets of styling basics, I would like to remind you that the key to looking fabulous, stylish, really pulled together and most important feeling confident in what you wear is a clear understanding of what suits you best. I have created a customized style guide with detailed illustrated style tips for different height and figure types which you can get absolutely for free. Just go to the link under this video, answer two simple questions about your height and your figure type and get the guide immediately to your mailbox. You can use this guide to go shopping or to sort out your existing wardrobe because you will have a clear understanding of what suits you and what not and how to put it together in the most flattering way. I have also included working outfit formulas for different occasions which you can immediately apply and start creating new outfits out of your existing wardrobe. So go to the link under this video, fill in your height and your figure type, get the guide and start using it as a first step to creating your impeccable style. The first thing I'd like to talk about today is color. To be more specific, the lack of color. And I know that a lot of people are afraid of color simply because they don't know which color palette suits them best, how to mix colors in the outfit. So they prefer to play safe and go for monochromatic neutral color combinations. Or if they dare to use color, they just put one pop-up color on top of black. In fact, duo color combinations, when you use only two colors, look quite dull and uninspired, especially when one of the colors is black. Since black is the darkest color in the whole color palette, when you mix it with any other color, it just mutes it and makes the whole combination quite dull and down to earth. As you see here, I'm wearing black pants with beautiful shade of pink. And despite the richness of the pink, black dominates over it and drags all the attention to itself. So the whole outfit looks a bit undone and quite boring. Adding extra color to the outfit immediately adds dimension and makes the combination more interesting and vivid, no matter if it's brights or neutrals. For example, here I paired blue shirt with burgundy pants and added neutral white to make it cleaner and more modern. I also opted for a nude bag to add a very subtle accent to my outfit. But if you're not confident with more than two, three colors, just stick with two and add one neutral to it. Adding neutral color to more colorful shades helps you not only put it all together, but also makes your outfit more polished and interesting. If you prefer more minimalistic color palette, just pair three neutrals. It can be gray, khaki and beige, black plus any neutral shade such as beige or khaki or navy blue plus white. You can't go wrong with basic colors, but you really need to have at least three of them in the outfit. As you see here, I paired black pants with this light sort of cream beige blazer and white tank top, which looks very minimalistic and sober, yet colorful enough. Adding white to link black with any other color will always help you to avoid black looking too harsh and dominating other shades in the outfit. Another very important point I'd like to stress today is the length. It's the length that defines proportions of the outfit and make your silhouette either really well balanced and your look really stylish and pulled together or can ruin it. So in order to achieve a well balanced silhouette, I suggest you mix different lengths in the outfit. You can mix longer lengths with shorter ones and the other way around. As you see here, I'm wearing maxi skirt with a long blazer, so two long items in one outfit. As a result, I just ended up not only with unflattering proportions, such as long torso and shorter legs, but actually made my outfit really dull, a bit outdated and quite mature. I must say that going for too short lengths does not look stylish either, because it creates the opposite effect. Looks too cheesy, most of the time quite cheap and quite controversial for someone who is a bit older than 18.
Instead, I paired maxi skirt with a white t-shirt and maybe blue cropped sweater and layered it all with navy short bomber from Zara. As you see here, I balanced longer bottom with shorter top, which does not only create more flattering proportions, but also helps to make this classic skirt more modern and cool. And this is also a good way to wear skirts in cooler seasons. You can still wear tights underneath and layering makes your outfit not only interesting, but also quite warm. Another mistake uh, women tend to repeat quite often is just going for two similar fits in one outfit. Combining two tight fits together or going for two oversized or two loose fits in one outfit, which actually make the look quite flat and the silhouette rather unbalanced. I keep on repeating in almost all my videos that the silhouette is the key to looking stylish and style is actually like architecture. You can't put one block building and just hope that it's going to become some architectural masterpiece because you really need to play with shape, volume, proportions to add some dimension and interest to your outfit. Two tight fits in one outfit look quite dated and a bit cheap and most of the time not really flattering in terms of silhouette, especially worn with heels. In this look, I paired very feminine tight-fitted knit top with skinny leather pants and heeled boots. And even though these two items apart can work quite well, together they create this throwback to millennium styling and look too down to earth. To style this top, I went for this beautiful linen suit. It's cut straight but still fits a bit loose and relaxed. And it creates very beautiful, slightly masculine silhouette. Yet, because I tucked the top and cinched the waist and also wore with heels, the overall look is quite feminine and elegant at the same time. It's balanced in terms of silhouette and proportions and also has focal points on the cleavage and waistline. So it really gives me confidence not only in the clothes but in my body as well. Another thing that gives really dull and even outdated twist to your outfit is quoting one style. And by quoting, I mean combining items within one style range. Too feminine, too romantic, too classic, too sporty, too preppy, too boho. It's like putting tons of sugar in your cake. Style is always about contrast. You really need to mix feminine with masculine, basics with dressed up, classic with sporty. It's what makes your style so effortless, so unique, so contemporary. And talking about quoting one style, here I paired very feminine pleated skirt with asymmetrical hemline, with polka dot silk blouse, black classic pumps and a mini tote in patent leather. As you know, polka dots are a very big trend of the season, as well as asymmetrical lines, but because both pieces have this very obvious feminine style, pairing them in one outfit makes it a bit too feminine, too predictable and not really up to date. To give the skirt a more cool, contemporary twist, I paired it with high riding boots, simple black tank top and leather blazer. I have also accessorized it with layered jewelry and black sunglasses. So two contrasting styles merge into very bold and stylish outfit and again give me that confidence and badass feel. You can also swap riding boots for heeled ones and pair skirt with loose sweater or a cardigan as long as it creates some contrast with the feminine character of the skirt. Another must-have to go from boring to stylish is to start investing and actually wearing accessories and not be afraid to be bold with them. And by accessories I mean not only functional ones like black shoes and bag, but also those that contribute to your style, more statement ones, such as layered jewelry, scarves, hats, belts, gloves, everything in color, texture, with statement details. Not everything at the same time though, but everything that catches the eye and make people look at every single inch of your outfit several times. And here is my unaccessorized look. Black pants, white blazer, black pumps. Not bad, yet a bit boring and undone. Let's think, what can we do about it? 
I decided to go really edgy with it, so I unbuttoned my blazer and wore Calvin Klein sports bra underneath to add a bit more modern, relaxed mood to my outfit. I cinched my pants with a belt, wore layered chunky necklaces and swapped black shoes for metallics to add accent to my outfit. I supported it with metallic purse and that's it, my party look is ready. I know putting an outfit together is quite a challenge because you need to coordinate your tops, your bottoms, plus shoes, accessories, and it's really a lot of things to think about. So most women stop at single, maximum double layering in cooler seasons, and it's safer, it's faster, it's easier, but it also looks quite boring most of the times. So to keep it warm and cozy, I paired black leather pants with grey cashmere sweater. Safe, down to earth, ready in two minutes. And to keep it warmer, I wore black bomber on top. This is what I call functional dressing. But we can still give it an upgrade. Watch me. Denim and simple white t-shirts are my favorite staples to add layers to the outfits. You can wear white t-shirt under knitwear, dresses, jackets, whereas denim adds texture and work perfect with any outwear, leather, shearling, fur, trench coats and puffer jackets. So I wore this denim shirt slash jacket under the bomber to add dimension to my outfit and create this beautiful layering effect. And to take it even further, I can wear a sweater on top around my shoulders. If I feel cold, I can still wear it under the jacket and if not, just keep it as a scarf. And the last not least, I can swap bomber for a puffer jacket, which also creates very interesting look and makes the outfit more multifunctional. As you see, you can always find a way to upgrade even most casual and comfy outfits and layering is definitely one of them. Et voilà, that's it for today. Hopefully you got inspired for creating some new stylish outfits. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!